to celebrate birth of the day with everything important since the dawn of time. It is November 10th. And you rolled dates. They're really right. Um, 1891 on this day, Carl Stalling was born. Uh, one of the um, Warner Brothers crew that created the Looney Tunes. Um, specifically, a lot of the, if not all, of the iconic music uh, from like the golden age of uh, Looney Tunes. Carl Stalling was the man. Yeah. Screaming Lord Such, born today, 1940. So it's a, it's a Screaming Lord Such day here at this house, which, you know, why not have it be a Screaming Lord Such day every day of the year? I don't know. But today, especially on the day of its birth. Um, a British rock and roller who got his start in the uh, Two Eyes Coffee Bar days and then put out a series of records produced by Joe Meek and um, jumped out of coffins and had this really terrific stage show, which actually, if you can see this poster here, this is like a original um, 60s poster advertising him as um, Jack the Ripper, the politician, and the raver. The raver was like a caveman type character, I guess, I don't know. Um, so he'd like come out and do like costume changes every couple of songs and, and uh, run around with like fire on his head. Um, uh, just wonderful. There's this really great uh, mid 60s French show that's available on YouTube that if you haven't seen, you got to see. It's really, really good. And just the amount of uh, energy he's putting into this, like the whole band, the whole band. Uh, they're just, they're, they're phenomenal. Yeah. Love screaming and such. The man who should have been king of Britain, but you people didn't vote him in. And if you had, maybe we wouldn't be in the mess that we're in today in the world, right? Because he ran for office every year. Uh, not he didn't run for king, but I'm sure it would have just been implied that eventually he'd be the king, you know, that these things happen, right? You move on up in life. Uh, he ran for uh, first the teenage party and then the monster raving loony party, like every year and lost every year, but uh, I, I still believe in him, even though he's been dead 20 some odd years, 21 years, something like that. He was supposed to play, uh, I think the Vegas grind in like 99 and uh, uh, sadly passed away before his time, just, just prior to uh, that, that show happening, which could have been enormous because he really didn't have a American audience, truly at that point. And, uh, at the age of, what would that be? At the age of like 59? That could have been his big break. <laughs> Why not? Stranger things have happened. Uh, what else? Neil Gaiman, born today, 1960. Uh, I am a enormous uh, Sandman fan. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this new show coming out sometime soon, uh, but as a, as a kid, I definitely saw issue 50, the Ramadan issue, the one with the cats uh, on the newsstand and picked it up and it forever changed my life. Yeah, because the Sandman was like subculture alternative stuff at a point where this was not easy to find in any capacity. And once I found that one, I was like, wait a minute, I don't need run of the mill mainstream superhero stuff anymore. I want to know all about this universe and, and where he's coming from. Um, and, you know, especially those, one, I was just talking about this with some friends the other day, those one-off episodes, episodes, issues, were some of my favorites that like still stick with me, like that um, King of America story that like happened in San Francisco in the 1800s that like was true. I love that. It was just like one thing after another that just like expanded my mind and, and shape me into the person I am today, for better or worse. So, er, thanks, Neil. Uh, what else? For better or worse, 1961, on this day, Twilight Zone's episode, Death's Head Revisited, premiered as the, you know, sad clown, as the sad clown that I am, I have to say this is actually probably my favorite Twilight Zone episode. Um, it's super depressing. Uh, Rod Serling does concentration camp ghosts and uh, I'm here for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, life. 
And last, but certainly not least, uh, Creepshow premiered in the state 1982, which is kind of like a perfect movie, you know? I'd say so. For those EC fans out there, uh, that's the, it's a really great realization of um, William Gaines's work. So there you go, the whole day, November 10th, from me to you. Better get some Screaming Lord Such on the jukebox. Jukebox? Who is a jukebox? Can you imagine? I just lost my space. Oh no. What did I leave? I'm going to say I'm there. Till tomorrow. Goodbye.